So we are in Skansen Pribilina. This place is an open air museum showcasing different houses of, uh, let's say, old Slovak culture. So today we're gonna learn some about some history about Slovakia and a little bit of Slovak culture. Each houses showcase different kind of living. Like there's a peasant houses, there's a house for mayor, for shoemaker, for teachers, and I'm very excited to see what it's gonna be looking inside. Let's start with this house. This house is Stefan Shuli Kuchera. Kuchera, is it some related to a kitchen? No. Kukina? <laughs> no. <laughs> so Let's have a look what's inside. It doesn't look like a pub. Salon Petrol. <laughs> and two. Ah, no, this yeah. is like a bar. Yeah, a bar. This is a bar and here's there. Three tables. <laughs> Three tables. So it's like a small pub. It's a small pub, yeah. <laughs> Bring me my pivo. <laughs> Prosim tem pivo. Prosim si pivo. Prosim si pivo. Male. A nie. Velke. Velke. Uh, dark is... Tmavi radler. <laughs> The Mavi Radle, Prosim. Uh, what is it? Uh, citron. <laughs> Do they have it? Do you have it, bartender? He doesn't understand. <laughs> yeah. eh, mash. No, no, no. Formal. Mache. Uh, Tmavi. Radler. Citron. No. Dobre? You see, I can order already. I'll be in the pub, you can find me there. In this house exhibits a single classroom village school, like during the old times. It's a single classroom, like here, look. With a couple of uh, desks and chairs, and including the chair and the table of the teacher. And what is interesting in this house is that Aside from the single classroom, in the same house is a private ha a private room for the teacher. Because during those old times, teacher uh, holds a significant position in a village community. So he or she gets a private room. And let's on the other side. Let's have a look. You see. It's all equipped with a bed, chair, with its own study, and also there is a kitchen area over here with a cook, with an oven. They even say that during the old time, the teacher is somebody who dedicates he, his or herself on beekeeping that's why in this place like this you can see a lot of um let's say tools that they use for beekeeping on the rear part of the house of the teacher is the beehives i found already <laughs> so it's there here are the bee houses and it looks so cool there's more over there it's crazy it's Voila.
This is the first equipment that they use to separate the grains from the husk. Look. It's all wooden and you have to do it manually. This is a family of with 11 children. And that bed with a cover is for an expectant mother. They cover their her bed because of some magical reasons. <laughs> it's so small. Welcome to the mayor's house. Buy it. Buy it. Buy it. Yeah. It smells like horse. Like a horse house. <laughs> they make three, four beds in one room. How do they have privacy in house? The chandelier. And the chandelier. <laughs> I like the beds though, but they're so tall, isn't it? And what do they put on on the bed? Like a foam? <laughs> yeah, foam. Memory. Memory foam. <laughs> This house is for a forger, you know, they make here tools for the peasants. What I like about this place is that it showcases different rows of people and houses in villages here in Slovakia. And each house is different. And you learn something new from the history. Meta, to je meta, to je lavendula, to je kveti, neviem čo. <laughs> to, to je ligorčík, ligorčík, uh, slovak vegeta. <laughs> At Choto ye. I shall ya. On ye, Viam. Ye, Viam. I think sage. Sage? What is it in Shalvia? Shalvia. Ah, Mama Shalvia Xaharada. Hey, hey, follow me. And that's it for Skansen Pribilina, my first stop in my quest <laughs> to see High Tatras. So now we are going to our accommodation and tomorrow we are going to start hiking High Tatras. Mm -hmm.